All right, I'm excited for this one, man. I am excited because about a year ago, I was sitting right here, same spot, made a video for you guys about some comfortable spring outfit ideas for at home. Most of us were locked down in our homes, so I was making some content to reflect that. This year, it's a little bit different. This spring and summer, I don't know about you guys what your personal situation is, but me, I'm gonna be out and about a lot more. I wanna share with you guys the items that I'll be wearing this spring, at least some of them. You know, there's gonna be a ton of spring content on this channel. These are just some essential items that I like. It's a little bit different of a vibe from the stuff you typically see on this channel and you guys kind of inspired it. You said, show more vintage stuff. And most of these items are, are vintage items or vintage inspired. That's gonna be the direction I'm going in this spring and summer. You know, nice colorful items, vintage sportswear, that's what I'm down with right now. This video reflects that, so let's dive into it. Okay, let's kick things off with a pair of sneakers. We've got the Nike Waffle Trainer 2 in Midnight Navy. So I showed these two guys in my last video. I just got them in. I pretty much unboxed them in that video. I didn't throw them on feet. I wanna do that for you here now because after that video, I threw them on and I was like, damn, I really like this shoe. I'm already looking for other colorways. I'll be honest with you guys, I took a risk on these. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them much. Low profile, low cut sneakers aren't typically something I go for. I like them, but I'm not chomping at the bit for the low profile shoe. Maybe it's just because this is a new model to me, but I had a really good feeling putting these on for the first time. You know, when you have like, I probably have 20 pairs of Jordan 1s. When you get that 21st pair and put them on, it looks cool, you like them, but it, you've been there before. When you get something different in a model that you typically don't wear, it changes things a little bit. So it's essential that you switch up your style just a tad. Try something new. This is a great, affordable option. In my opinion, they fit perfectly, true to size. They're wide foot friendly, and you can buy them right now. I'll link them for you down in the description. And if any of the other things in this video are available, they'll be down there as well. All right, so with the warmer weather rolling in, we gotta talk about some shorts. And again, this year, I'm still really big on Nike woven shorts. This is a new colorway that just dropped. It's purple, obviously. And this spring and summer, I'm gonna be huge on purple. Lavender, you'll see more purple in this video. It's just a color that for some reason I can't get enough of. Pastels in general, I'm huge on. Just look at these shorts. What is not to like? It doesn't get much more essential than these. They hit for 45 bucks, very reasonable. You know, I was like, okay, so if I'm down with woven Nike shorts, there's gotta be some options in the vintage lane on eBay, Depop, whatever it is. But for me, I've told you guys this before, I struggle with buying used clothing. Shirts, I'm open to. Jerseys, I can wash the hell out of them. Sometimes buying pants though, that are used, I don't know. I don't know, sometimes it's just a little bit much for me. But I was able to find these Nike vintage shorts brand new. They were new without tags. They're probably running shorts from, I gotta say like 1990. They had an inner lining, and I cut it out, brains blown out, and that I, I didn't execute it that well. <laughs> it almost ruined these because the inner lining is now just a mess. Bad move, I don't know. Rookie move, if there's a way to cut the inner lining out that's a little bit better than what I've done here, then uh, you guys can let me know. It looks like a shark got at these shorts, but I don't want an inner lining in my shorts, like especially an old pair of shorts. It just kind of freaks me out. We'll see if I actually wear them, but <laughs> 20 bucks for them. I may have ruined them. The direction I'm going in with these items that I'm picking up, it's vintage sportswear. That's kind of my lane right now. I'm sure it'll change, but right now I'm looking for vintage Orlando Magic stuff, vintage Timberwolves, vintage Charlotte Hornets, vintage Phoenix Suns. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, jerseys, I want it all. I got this tee for 20 bucks, it's brand new, it's got tags still on it. That's exactly what I'm looking for. 
the t-shirts that have been sitting around for 20 plus years untouched, give it to me. This is true nostalgia for me. These type of items give me more nostalgia than sneakers do because I didn't have all the Jordans growing up. I didn't have the newest Air Maxes or Air Force Ones. I had Vans, I had skate shoes. It was a little bit of a, a segue into Jordans and Nikes. I didn't start off with all the cool stuff, but you know, I had some Suns t-shirts, I had some Celtics stuff, obviously, and you know, just being a big NBA fan for my entire life, this stuff just resonates with me a little bit more. Let me know if you guys get down with these type of t-shirts and this type of gear. Are you picking it up? What else we got? Okay, real quick, I got these in, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I showed them to you briefly, I just flashed them in a video. I didn't actually show them to you in depth. So, we got some Air Force Ones. I'm gonna be very brief with them because there's not a whole lot to see. But I really like this shoe a lot. I, I really like this shoe. White on white Air Force Ones, they're as popular as it gets right now. But when I saw that Nike did this have a Nike day version right here with a little bit of a green and red hit on the midsole, you've got that red rose right there. I just liked them. $90 pair of Air Force Ones white on white. I haven't bought those in a long time because options like this exist that are just a little bit different. So if you need a fresh pair of white kicks for the spring and summer, this is a great option. I'll link them for you guys down in the description. Okay, real quick, I wanted to weigh in with you guys about a topic. Let me know where you stand about tote bags. Because for me, two years ago, I wasn't using tote bags. It was always backpack or duffel bag, that's it. But recently, I've been using tote bags a lot and they've just been so essential for me. You can pack a good amount of stuff in here. Like I have a full outfit. I've got a hoodie, sweats, and these shoes. This is how I was carrying this tote bag around earlier. I feel like for a while, there was almost a negative vibe around tote bags where it was only something girls used. Or it was like you had a man purse if you were rolling around with one of these. But recently, I feel like they've become a lot more acceptable. I find myself with these in the grocery store or if I'm shopping around so that I don't have to take a plastic bag from a vendor or a store. And that's kind of where I got started with these. And then I just kept one in my car. If I went to the beach, I would stuff whatever I wanted in the bag, roll out to the sand. They're so easy and convenient, but I just wanted to to check in with you guys like do you get down with tote bags and do you think that like a year or two ago people looked at it like a man purse like anything else other than a backpack was not masculine like it was almost frowned upon where people didn't want to have these because they would get looked at like a chick and that's unfortunate i never viewed it like that i just didn't think that this would be more convenient than a backpack but recently it has been, and I've been using it a lot. So let me know what you guys think about tote bags. Let's get into the last item. This one is a suggestion from one of you. I read the comments. I listen to what you guys have to say. I read what you have to say. And someone commented, you should get into vintage Nike windbreakers. They're readily available. There's a bunch of them, and they're not that expensive. So I did just that. Man, Nike windbreakers, vintage Nike windbreakers, they're everywhere. There's some good ones, and sure as shit, they're not that expensive. So I did a little searching, and I came up with this Nike windbreaker for 35 bucks. Honestly, thank you to whoever suggested this because I don't think I'm gonna buy a regular Nike windbreaker this year, a brand new one. Vintage is the way to go. There's a bunch I can say about this. For one, the quality seems better. It's really lightweight, the design is cooler, the fit is money, draw cords at the bottom, of course. What a gem, what a gem. It's a gray tag, Nike item, full zip, no flaws, no flaws. There's a bunch I've been finding recently that I, I get beat out on. You know, eBay is a good place. I'll link some searches for you guys down in the description, but you can certainly get some good ones for under 50 bucks. And windbreakers are so essential this time of year for me. Springtime, peak windbreaker season. If it gets too cold, 
wear a hoodie on underneath it. Oh, it gets too hot. You take the hoodie off, you put it in your tote bag, and you just rock the windbreaker. It gets even hotter, you take off the windbreaker and the hoodie, put them in the tote bag, and you roll around in your t-shirt. You can wear shorts. Like, like, I love the spring. Just a great transitional season because I get a little fatigued in the summer, you know, like August, September, when I've just been wearing shorts and tees all the time. I, I don't know, for some reason I just like get sick of that season. I don't get sick of many other seasons, maybe the end of winter, but summertime I get a little bit fatigued. So spring leading into that where it's a little bit colder, great season. Let me know what your favorite season is. Let me know what you guys have been picking up for vintage items. Let me know if you get down with tote bags. What are some good spring essentials? Hit the comment section, let me know. Thank you guys for tuning in, peace.